Hi everyone, how are you doing? Is alright? Welcome to a sunny Newcastle. Well, technically I'm in Gator at the minute because the Asda is behind us. But we are talking about the Chronicles survey today. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. Uh, first of all, before we get on with the, with the headline, thank you so much for all the nice words to me and Sam uh, on the quiz on Saturday night. Obviously, I hosted it, I edited the vids, and Charlotte as well did a brilliant job. And all the other hosts that were involved, like NUFC 360, War Flags, Nuss True Faith, NUFC Fans on Facebook, The Foundation, The Police. I probably missed somebody off because there's been that many, but it was brilliant. And we've had five or six people reach out and seek help which is fantastic uh, that's what we want and, and there's about four or five who are undecided and may reach out so hopefully they do as well so thank you for all the nice words on twitter facebook comments uh facebook itself youtube i meant my own personal facebook um and anybody from work watching this but yeah let's crack on with it so i want to get into today uh regarding the chronicle because i was astounded Obviously, they had a massive participation, uh, easy for me to say that, uh, of nearly 14,000 or roughly 14,000 people who've filled in this survey. I wanted to go over that with you. So 95% think that Newcastle should make a change and part company with Steve Bruce. Why isn't that 100%? The five percent that are out there are either Sunderland fans or trolls on the Chronicle take they make you a little bit. Uh, or there's some very, very dodgy Newcastle fans about because why would you want Steve Bruce in charge when we've won two games out of twenty and hovering just above the relegation zone? We could be in the bottom three after this weekend because we don't know what type of side that Spurs turn up. That was alarming for me. I mean, the man's got a gun. End of. We've said it enough on this channel. Ninety-two percent think that Newcastle will get relegated with Bruce in charge. Just 4% have confidence that he'll keep the team up. Only 4% again. If you're a Newcastle fan, I'm questioning you there, like, because if you really think that Steve Bruce is going to keep us up, how am I, man? Sort yourselves out. But Mike Ashley is the one who Newcastle fans blame for the current situation, with 53% blaming him for the position where Newcastle are in. I, I agree to some extent on that, but I think if we had a better coach with this squad, I firmly believe we'd be higher up the table. Look, I'm not going to expect we'll get top six, uh, possibly not even top ten. I think the squad should be a mid-table squad, following from where Rafa left on. If not, some people might argue that the squad's actually better with Steve Bruce, with the couple of signings that he's brought in. I mean, that's the that's the debate I'm throwing out there for the comments. Is this a better squad? Steve, Should Steve Bruce be having this mid-table? Fucking de hell yeah, he should be. This side, hovering. Oh, well, you know, COVID and players injured. We get all of that all the time. Every single Premier League club has had COVID and injuries crisis hit with. So for us... To be hovering down there, it's just simply not good enough. I want to change. I actually think we're going to do. I said that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to do. Steve Bruce in charge. I've lost all confidence. I hit rock, rock bottom on the last word against Brighton. I, I was just sick. And the confidence in the takeover is draining, say the Chronicle. 58% think it won't happen, whilst 41% of the legal efforts through arbitration are doomed to fail. Uh, again, if you want my 50 pence piece on this, I think the takeover's gone. I think it's done. It's gone. And now Mike Ashley's battling the Premier League. I think Mike Ashley's just trying to win that he was right and win some money back. I think that's all it's doing to personally myself. But 83% of the fans would still want the PCP capital partners to come back into and buy Newcastle United. Uh, which, I mean, I'd have anybody bar Mike Ashley. I'd run that risk. Well, I say that lightly. I say that lightly. I don't just want anybody. Of course not. Because, you know, you could have a Portsmouth on your hand or a Berry on your hand, what have you. But common sense, I'll take that risk if you offered that now with someone who had probably had... even. I'll take somebody who had less money than Mike Ashley if it meant a better communication. And let's not kill ourselves with Premier League money. You can still buy and trade, but I'd rather have that than somebody who clearly doesn't have nothing to do with the fans. You look at the Newcastle United fans quiz on the weekend... The club didn't help us out by sharing. They did, however, help us with Martin Dubravka, granted. But they didn't share it. They didn't forward it on. They could have done a lot more. And the communication with fan groups and fans in general and the communication speaking to a fan is is, is an all-time low. It's never been any better. 92% of the Chronicles respondents said that United would go down with him in charge. It just shows the lack of faith in the setup right now. 50% 
were unsure if a new man would come in and make a difference. It is late in the game. We've seen it down the years. Rafa couldn't keep us up. Shira couldn't keep us up. In all honesty, though, I would take that risk. What, what worse? We're in a slightly better position. We weren't in the bottom three. But I would take that risk. Even if it's Graham Jones, I would take that risk. I'd be much more happy at myself with Graham Jones and Steve Bruce towards the end of the season. And even if it meant that we went down under somebody else in the championship and bring them back up, I just do not want Steve Bruce in charge. 24% thought that they would stay up with somebody else, whilst 23% of people said they would still go down. And asked why they want him, want him removed, a lot of the comments were basically saying results. And we're also the Chronicle asked fans to break down the problems. 49%, so basically half, said tactics was the biggest issue with Steve Bruce right now. That was followed by 19% who felt that he had lost the dressing room. I think he has. I think Percy has as well. Whilst team selection was at 13%. 53%, as I say, was Ashley to blame. 34% was Bruce. I would probably make that a little bit more closer in. Maybe... Um, maybe some other blame has to lead to other areas, not just Ashley, because let's face it, a, a huge, huge chunk is Mike Ashley. But Bruce has to take a big chunk and some other parts of the club as well. The likes of Lee Charney, he has to take the front. You look at the coaching, the development, who's, a, who's pointing the finger there, the lack of youth development coming through, it can filter down. But the big problem, of course, is Ashley Bruce for me, 100%. Fans to nominate an alternative that wanted a change in Newcastle, 25%. Of the 10,000 respondents to that question said they would want Eddie Howe, who of course is free, is a free agent. A lot of speculation he could be off to Celtic. The next lot was way, way down with Rafa Benitez. That's no surprise. Rafa obviously loved, but I can't say Rafa Benitez returning whilst Mike Ashley's at the helm. I can't say it. And there was also small shouts for Chris Wilder, who's now a free agent after leaving Sheffield United. He was third choice. Lampard was um, just edged out in fourth position. And of course, the takeover, as I say, 83% wanted the takeover from the, the PIF to go through. Only 8% against it, and 9% are unsure whether what's happening with the takeover. 41% think the legal fight currently going through arbitration will be lost. I'm one of them. I massively think it's gone. I think it's gone. 22% remain the faith that its takeover is still going to happen, and 36% remain unsure. It shows signs that... We're all a bit pissed off at the minute, let's not let's not lie. I think most of all of I think in fact everybody in Newcastle fans TV believe we're, we're gonna do now. We've lost all 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 faith in the results and the, the the fixtures coming up. I mean it would be oh, don't get me wrong, I'd be over the moon if we can pull off a result against Spurs and what have you or Burnley or what where's the point coming from? In the last two games of the season it could be must wins and can you see Newcastle picking up two bounce two wins on the bounce against Sheffield United and possibly that crunch game against Fulham? I mean, I've already joked on saying I can't wait to get to Preston and Blackburn, the two Sheffield clubs, Middlesbrough and the Mackhams if they come up. For sure, our way days, taking the piss on the WhatsApp group of fans at the minute is that we cannot have our voice said in St. James's Park. And there is a rumour can run that Henry Winter tweeted out saying only one club is against having a home fans at the ground. I bet you that's Newcastle. Because hell no. Even if there is 10,000 in St. James's Park for the, for the last home game of the season, I bet you 95% of them will be singing Bruce out or there's some, there'll be some dafty who'll run on the pitch and throw his ticket. We've seen that down the years. Someone will... Uh, Tempers will flare. I can say that. Didn't want to do a negative video after the quiz. But um, yes, uh, later on this week, we do have obviously looking forward to Spurs. We've got a black and white show is coming back, which is great. Uh, we've got Alex Hurst coming on as well. He said yes to the influencer, which is fantastic. And don't remember, we've got the second channel, NFTV Extra as well. Uh, get over there that's where we do a lot of football manager videos under 23s women's news um brandon show as well which is how we're the mag but i right i'm gonna head off i need to get in the shop see you later everyone